Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Trading Gods. In today's video we're going to be doing some more investments and after selling on a lot of um, Ola's Vizzy and Championship players, I don't think I've got any more. Let me just have a look. Yeah, I'm back to no more Championship players and like only a couple of golds and that bronze guy who we'll sell on later. And so we're about, we were about 120k, but we decided to over uh, SVC that didn't really pack much, but yeah. And we're going to be doing some investments. And the first, and it's going to be the two of the next Lee SPCs. And because I reckon it's going to be a big um, Lee SPCs, the ones I'm going to be doing it is towards the Lee Gun and the Cal CA. And for the first things you need to do is find the cheapest vegan players. So there's 200, 250. And you literally just want to buy the lot. At the start, 250 coins. Just just buy the cheap ones. Right? Didn't need to click buy. Or we're just sending away the club. Because they're no risk. 250. Let me get that CDM card quick, quick, quick. Yeah, we've got that CDM card. And then you want to send those to the club as well. And when you've done that, you want to be finding doing what you normally would do. So left back, and then only there's a couple of cards there. So you don't want to buy them. Left back, a couple of cards there, don't want to buy for that. But you just want to find the cheapest sort of cards cards in their positions because if you can find a good one they will be going up so so many coins and then for some Etienne Dijon Munich number 2 hopefully we can find one so this guy here will be a very very good investment this guy will definitely more than likely go up to about what about 10,000 coins maybe slightly less than that so, because it's a league and SBC, and they're going to be throwing out a big player. Why is it 50 million coins? We're going to do that. We need to put it to about 800. Right, so it goes about 900 coins. I'm going to see if I can put bid in. I'm going to less than that. See if I can find one. No, oh, it's just this. Oh, we're just going to buy that because that guy's practically no risk and he's definitely going to go up for a ton of coins, about 5, 6, maybe even 7 to 10,000 coins, which is, you know, would be absolute mental. Left back for Troyes, 2 cards there. FC Mets, 2 cards there. Mats, 2 cards there. Paulo. Two cards there. Oh. No really. Two cards there. Weirdly, the, the ones I saw were both bronze. Bear in mind, Lily was quite a good team, so. That was one set mate. Have a gold here. But gold players don't go up, so. But we found one. Into OG Nice, and this guy hasn't even been priced fixed yet, which would be very, very nice for profit terms. So, this colleague's got about 700 coins. I'm gonna pick up a couple of this card. I'm gonna go three cards of Colley because you know he could be priced about four to five thousand coins, which is just mental. So, I'm gonna add them to the trade pile. Like that card would be a very very good buy if you can get him. Left back from Leon, there's quite a few from there. Left back Marseille, that'd be there. Left back Paris, gold cards, kind of on golds. Left back from that team, there's one there, so we've got another guy you can definitely buy. How much is he going for? 
which is very cheap for a card that's only on its own. It's going to find the cheapest by now. 150. So you, yeah, I'm going to buy the for all three of these cards. Profit will be mental when this SBC comes out. And I reckon it's probably going to be for like, I'm not too sure who it would be in Liga, maybe Cavani. That would be quite nice to have in the Liga SBC. But it, whoever it is going to make so much bones. So there's two cards there, so I'm going to buy you. St. Lorenz, there's two cards. To lose has one card, but this guy looks price X. If he's already price X, I'm not gonna buy him. Let's see how much he is. 2k, okay. Do I take the risk? Yeah, 2k, 2,000 coins or something. That's probably gonna rise to about 10k. I am definitely, so let's face it. And then that's all that's there on that side. And you just want to look, you want to look at different positions like right back, centre back, anything like that. And then just find the cheapest bits and just buy, buy them and add them to your club. Because the league in Calcier will, will be as nearly three to four times as much as other species of players when they came out. Which is, but you know, it's just mental. So, what I'm going to do now is show you another thing you need to be doing is going through the allocated things and going defend us. You want to buy literally all of these because they could be going up. I'm just gonna buy that as quickly, like quite a lot, because they're defenders and defenders normally goes up more than attackers. So I'm just gonna buy all those. And then I missed quite a few, and then add them to the club. And there's one that pops there. Put you buy that note. You could just snipe them as well, and it's really, really, really easy to make. So just add them to the club. Midfielder, you want to do the same for. Like there's, there's so many on midfielders. 400 coins, 400 coins. There's so many here. Just, just buy all of them. Because they're, they're all going to go up when this SBC comes out. And it will be coming out, I reckon. There's two SBCs every um, two, I think it's two per month, and so I reckon this SBC will be coming out in around about um, December time, so just be aware of that. Put that down in your daily, but all, all these players will rise up at the start for about a thousand coins each, which, you know, just amazing profit because everyone will want to pe complete this play complete this SBC because the player who you're going to get is going to be really really good so the top of these players will all definitely be needed for the SBC which is why I'm investing hard in for it and I'm going to get that dolly guard as well so that will be right straight up you can do it forwards if you really want to, and also do the thing with the position, so you go right back now, and just check, if you, not just silver, because if you put silver in there could be like bronzes and there's not, so this guy is another good investment, to see if there's any cheap ones, okay, oh no it's not, fair enough, there's two there, bit annoying, but oh well. You got this all found one. There you go. You got Bamba. So this is a very good investment. Don't know if I've already invested, but I'm gonna have a thirteen hundred coins for a guy that's probably gonna rise to about five, six thousand coins. It's just, it's just a decent profit, isn't it? And then just have a look around for the right back and see if it's. Is it really just one right back? Or did Monaco? I oh, know it's not. But I would say because Monaco are big club, they should not just have one right back, only s s two or three there, Dijon, two there, EA Gundogan, two there, and you can just, and you can just keep on doing that, EA Trods, two there, and then 
also you want to be doing that for the calcium A. I'm going to look around, so we're just going to go right back again for Atlanta. How many are there? Two there. Benetivio. Two there. And see if you can find any like um, ones in the position because if you just pick them up because they will rise if they're any of their position five to six k just normal normal cards from those leagues what one thousand coins minimum so the profit is it, just mental so there you go there's one gonna be going for very cheaply as well by the looks of it 850 going about 600 coins gonna be rising I'm gonna buy all of these cards actually because I honestly think League and Calcio could be released together which would be just mental because both both teams would just fly up in price and it, it's really unbelievable how much profit you could be making for instance brought those three cards for about a couple 600 coins so again coins each rise 5k round up to 10 13 k profit on the single player line which is you know very nice I'm gonna constantly have a look through Ganoa, by the looks of it, are oh, quite expensive, so why is that? There's one guy here. I'm gonna take the risk because that guy, again, like I said before, on my position, towards 5k, gonna be a very, very nice profit. So we're gonna buy you. Hello, it did it. Again, there's another one. Hello, Verena. Only have one in right back. Let's see how cheap I'm getting for. I'm just going to buy one now because I don't want to fill up my trade bar. But still, that's they're going to rise to about 5,000 coins, like I've said before, because it's only in one position. Inter, you don't want to reinvest in them because it's gold players. Juventus, gold players. Lazio, I do you believe it's gold players? Yeah. Milan, gold players. Napoli, gold players, isn't it? Yeah. You don't want to be investing in the golds unless you want to do the SBC. Definitely recommend investing in them if you want to do the SBC and go for the packs. Because the packs would be like very, very good and like you can make a lot of profit if you invest in the golds early. I would only invest in the golds if you want to complete them. But the fact is that if we buy the golds when the SBC is released, they're not going to be, the SBC is going to cost you a ton of coins to do. You know, you've found another deal here. If I get a from 17, all we can is around 16, 600 coins and 800 coins there. So I'm going to, so both of them I reckon 5, 6,000 coins again because just because of who it is. Torino, do you know it is? Have silver in anyone? No. In the city, have two, and then you just want to change your position if you want. So, just to clarify, over when we go to the Calcier Ligon, put a position in and find one of them on their own, and you literally want to go Calcier or Ligon and buy the cheapest buy nows in every single different position. So like Defender, let's go to the cheapest def Calcio Defender, what we're saying, about 300 coins and just pick them up because all of these cards are going to be at minimum price 1,000 coins when they're supposed to be released and if they all have one position, minimum of 5 to 10,000 coins. So that is def. so do both so you just go over, invest in Kelsey, Ligon players, players who are in their own positions and have no, and have no competition. So like people, I want to explain that better again. Sorry, people who have like one left back from one club, like one right back from one club, one centre back, two centre backs from one club, two two or three centre mids from one club. Just invest in all of it because the profit is just mental. Do that for Kelsey. And Negan. The next set as investment is going to be due to the Christmas SVCs coming up. Yep, it's a long way, but personally, it I reckon it's going to be a good one. 
So we've got Jeffrey Van Dam. You needed screen cards last year and they went for so much. So at the moment screen cards are practically nothing. Like this this card I think is gonna be seventeen to sixteen K, am I right? This card's he's not even he's not even that, he's like thirteen K. This card there's just no risk we buying this card. So you can get it for about twelve thousand coins and pretty much when you when the Christmas Super Seed comes out, you're gonna need this card. Van Damme is literally in the, the one of the best investments at the moment for Christmas because when the SBC comes out, he'll probably be worth and, you, and if you need a stream card, just to add that in. You'll probably be worth around twenty to twenty five thousand coins. You know, which, which is just mental. So it's gonna send into my club. And as well as that, you wanna go over to special and find any high rated informs to buy for it as well. Anyway, that's all for the for the for this video. Please like and subscribe when you're in it. I'll speak to you guys later. See ya. Bye.